Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. We're just going to have a look over Otto's new uh, hunter concept. Had some good games. Nice, dude. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to be I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real before we start this. The background of a hunter and their appearance mean nothing to me. I uh, I appreciate Otto if you watch this. I'm sure there's a lot of work that goes into here and I'm sure it's very good. I'm sure it's a beautiful backstory and the character looks beautiful. I don't really care about that much. I want to see what it does, right? <laughs> so we got Haxo. Axo, which stands for Human Slash Alien Extermination Ordinance. I think he's like a Terminator. I think he's, I think he is a Terminator. Uh, okay, so 900 health, which I think uh, that, that's 100 more than Shakiri, right? I think Shakiri's on 800 at the moment, as far as I'm aware. Uh, 5 meters a second, I think that's pretty standard move speed, right? A medium hit size, so I, I imagine, yeah, just like normal. I'm 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 imagining a a Shakiri sized thing uh, right now with a bit more health. Passive mortal wounds. Haxo's claws cause extra stacking twenty five percent dot to biological creatures. Um, how you doing, Blazer? This is Otto's concept for a new character. I thought we'd dick. dick? I, th I, we, I didn't think we'd dick. I thought we'd dip into uh, what they're proposing. Uh, it's on the Reddit. And if people watch on the YouTube, exclamation mark YouTube, I'll put a link to it in the in the YouTube. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll throw it in as well if people want to read it in the chat. There you go. Um, okay, so more wounds. Haxo's claws cause extra stack, cause extra stacking 25% dot to biological targets that deal 25% less to inorganic ones. Not on hunters, monsters, uh, but less to bug. Wait, an extra. So does he do... Does Haxo do... So I guess it depends on how much damage Haxo does, right? Because if is that just... He just does a base 125% damage? Because that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. It's an interesting concept. Like, what the hunter is affects how the attacks work against them. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, but we'll do less damage against overshields, robotic hunters like bug, uh, and future ones. Uh, skill objectives like domes and bunkers. So that would be a Mendo bunker uh, and a Shakiri dome. That's, I, that's kind of interesting. Okay, okay. Mouse one, hack and slash. Haxo lashes out with its claws dealing uh, two strikes uh, for X damage each. A lot like Shakiri. So it's got, so it's a melee character. It's it's got Shakiri's melee on mouse one kind of, which is interesting. Which will also have a will have a dot damage. I'm okay, so I'm interested here. Does I mean my first question would be: Is that a hundred and twenty five percent damage dealt to a human, um, but seventy five percent damage done to uh, like bug? be weird um be i think i i think that's a really interesting passive but i think it will be crazy hard to balance it right um i also have an idea for this that i'll come back to in the end uh but let's carry on for now mouse button two q bolt fires a quantum bolt uh from your q bow okay uh, that can be charged. Oh, I, I imagine they maybe okay. The cubo is uh, a pulsating quantum field. Wait, a large bow. So it has a bow. It has a bow. It has a. It has a, a slashy slash. I guess it's claws. It has claws and it's got a bow. Fires a quantum bolt from your cubo that can be charged up by holding the uh, button down for longer. I like that idea. Sort of the longer you charge it, uh, the more damage it's going to do. 
Adding uh, to its range and damage. It hits for XX damage. X minus X? Or is that X? Okay. Uh, and sticks to its target for three seconds. Slowing them by 10% each second. Does that, does that mean it just slows them for 10% for three seconds? Or... Or does it mean it slows by 10% on the first tick, 20% on the second tick, and 30% on the, the third... 10 seconds. 10S. Oh, uh, cooldown, I guess? Cooldown? Cooldown? Takes uh, every 10 seconds you can use this. Q-Bolt sticks to terrain and targets alike, persisting for three seconds. And his scanner... So, okay, is it a field then? It's like an AoE, slow. And, oh, okay, so it pulses. It pulses. I think he does say something about this um, in here. Uh, which blends reality near the projectile. Okay, so it's an AoE. It pulses out slow. Three times a sec... Three times, not a second. Three times in three seconds. So once a second for three seconds. I don't know what the damage is. Maybe he's just gone. That's redundant damage. Uh, be interesting to see how much that does. That's crazy. That's that's big though. Fire that into the middle of the team fight, and they're all like moving. Like ah, oh, I can't go. And it gives Haxo extended vision. So he wait. He can see where that bolt is. I don't, I don't think you need the vision. I would say I don't think you need the vision. I think the slow itself is super powerful. Uh, shift, pounce. Haxo leaps to the target location. If the enemy is struck, they are slowed by 25% uh, for two seconds and take dot for five seconds. So targeted leap with small AOE area on landing. Does that... That doesn't stack, does it? With this? So it's a lot about slowing. The thing is... I, okay. I think this is kind of cool. I like it. Um, maybe it's a bit powerful. The 25% uh, slow. Um, but it's interesting. I, I guess you got to think of like... Sure, someone shouldn't get caught out of position. But if they do get caught out of position, how are they going to, like, recover? And this just sounds like you'd fire... Like, you pounce on them. At, at no range at all, you fire a cue bolt in their escape. So they're basically just running through slow forever. They either have to run away from you through the slow or run at you, which means you can melee them and get these big dots on. Um... It's interesting. Anyway, I'd probably play this character. Bonus stream. Thank you, Redding, for the uh, for the good people points. Um, it's a good concept, but definitely needs some changes. I look I, as a starting point. I think this is a really cool character, and I would play this as like a huge controlling character. But yeah, definitely like definitely needs to. Some of the numbers maybe a bit high. Twenty five percent slow is is. Oof. Um, but interesting. I mean, if it stacks, if it stacks, I don't know. I don't know how. I honestly, I I'm I'm a bit clueless here. I'm not too sure how slow is at this point. So I don't know if it like if slow has a cap or if it's like if it's from different sources, it can stack more and more and more. Um, I'm a bit in the dark on that concept. So I'd have to read into it a bit more. Uh, ERB. After a second's activation, so he's got to charge it up. Uh, creates a wormhole that teleports uh, Haxo to the nearest Q bolt at the target. Look, so he can teleport across the. Are these persistent? Persist for three seconds. But this is a... Okay, so... I don't... Okay, for one... For one... 
I don't think you need to say the closest, uh, the nearest cobalt. Oh. No, you don't need to say the nearest cobalt because you've put a you've put a 10 second cooldown on the cobalt. So, and they only persist for three seconds, so you're not going to be firing loads of cobalt. So you don't you don't need to worry about that. Um, unless unless they're saying unless they're saying the AOE sticks around for three seconds, but cobalt. Q bolts just stick in the ground because it says persist for three seconds and it's all about setting up these Q bolts to like um holy shit redding is farming me right now um it seems like it's all about these setting up these Q bolts but if the Q bolts don't stick around it seems a bit weird i'd be interested to see how it works Holy sh- that is a lot of money, dude. That is a lot of money. Um, at the target, so- Okay, for, uh, it's 15 second cooldown. Black hole, closest targeted Q-bolt, uh, creates a black hole at its location. So this is, again, works on the Q-bolt is like, staying in the ground. I don't know, maybe you could say- You could say you could have like a six- um, a six Q bolt, uh, quiver, right? Oh, oh, what about this? Okay, okay. The Q bolt persists, right? The pulsing damage doesn't. It's three seconds. I think that's fine. The pulsing slow, whatever. The Q bolt persists. You have six Q bolts, right? And you can only fire six of them. Q allows you to collect a Q-Bolt. You teleport to it and collect it. So you basically, you could like place uh, a Q-Bolt at each of the harvesters if you wanted and build to like teleport around the harvesters when you see someone. That would be interesting. And then when you teleport in, like you could replace it, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, or, and, and also you could set up a Q-Bolt early for like uh damage amps coming okay there's two minutes until the next damage amp you've thrown a cue bolt there and then you can just like you can teleport back to the damage amp it's pretty interesting i i i think if you had if this if if cue bolts were a finite um thing it also ties in as well because you're pressing q to use it amazing <laughs> as long as you've not changed your key bindings level one so these are your three options Weakness leaving the body. Targets uh, taking dot from your claws also drop additional essence. Okay, so this is like an assassination thing. This is marking a target. That's that's incre incredibly powerful. Targets taking dot from your uh, pounce are revealed to you and your team. Also incredibly powerful. Holy shit. I don't even know what to take at level one. Uh, Stalker, while using the scanner, stationary Hacksaw is cloaked! Oh, holy fucking shit. These are some- these are some spicy level 1 abilities. I would say, uh... Okay, so your obvious sort of ones would be, um... If they have a lot of, uh... Organic targets, I guess. Uh, you'd probably go here to get your farm better. If they have, like, a Tuscar, you'd fucking go on this, right? Holy shit. Revealing, revealing annoying characters that can just hide. Whew. And then, I, I mean, I don't know. If you were just playing solo queue, you might just do that so you can... Imagine in the middle of a fight, in the middle of a fight, you run around a corner and then just start scanning. To like fucking just cloak yourself and you're like fuck 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 fuck. There's a uh, Templar Assassin in um Templar Assassin in thingy uh What is it? Dota 2 has this skill. Uh but it's on a skill. I would almost say that this could be its skill in itself. Hacksaw 
Haxo stay. Haxo goes cloaked and stays cloaked while he stays still. That could almost be an ability in itself. That's pretty huge. Remember your training. Movement speed is increased. Interesting. I guess it encourages you to rush level 2 quickly. Uh, which you're going to get very quick anyway. Level 3. Uh, ancient intellect. Axo interacts with an objective 30% faster. Whoa. Oh. I love this. I am playing this character. Cubol. Does that in Wait. Does that include hearts? Fuck me. Cubalt now uh, has two charges. See, this is this is an interesting one. I think you I, I think you need charges, right? I guess oh two char like an ammo? That'd be kind of interesting. So you you don't have the cooldown between placing them, maybe? Uh, Relentless Advance. Pounce now has two charges. I would definitely go for this. Well, ah, I'd be stuck. I'd be between this and this. It depends what you took here. If you took the reveal, if you took the reveal, you're always taking relentless advance. I think ancient intellect is huge. 30% faster. Holy fucking shit. Seven seconds for an objective rather than 10. Okay. Um... I've been here uh, before. On death, an alternate timeline version of Haxo persists and attacks the nearest enemy hunter. Wait, a non-charged cue bolt. Wait, do you charge them? That can be charged? Oh, no, but that just increases its range and its damage. I thought maybe you'd have to charge it to get this. And you could just fire them around. Okay, that's that's not as that's not as exciting. So, it basically just like a flop out arrow. Depending on the range before it disappears. Like martyrdom? Okay, we've got martyrdom on there. Interesting. The last two. Parallel universe. Creates an alternate timeline version of Haxo who remains at their original location. <laughs> Fires a fully charged cue bolt at enemies closest to them. While this... While this version exists? Holy shit. Dude, Hax... If it, uh, on this concept, Haxo is the worst hero to try and fucking chase. It said there's a charge up, right? A one second activation, but you could just dip out of any fight. You're in a shit position. You're like halfway across. This is a full jungler, right? Like you would never be with your team as this, as this. And maybe in terms of that, like you're looking at like, fuck me. I, I, Jesus Christ, this is insane. It all comes together. Target uh, taking dot from you. Claws and pounce. I'm vulnerable. Oh my. Okay. Look. I. I would 100% play this character. I think some of the things need scaling back a little bit. But. I mean we never know until we're trying it out right. Holy shit, this is it. This is so good. Like, if this character came, oh my god, I'd be maining this. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my. I, I really like. I re Okay, so the, the main thing I'd wrap this up with I really like the concepts. I think they're maybe scaled up a bit too much right now. I don't. I think some of these are, are super strong. I guess it depends what the numbers are, right? If it's the reveal for like a second. Or, like, whatever. Maybe it's not too bad. So, without seeing numbers, this is huge. Without seeing numbers, though, like, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to work out. I, okay, one big thing. I was, I said I was going to come back to this. Mortal Wounds. I think if you brought out this character, bring it out with a counterpart that does the opposite. So, it does more damage to uh, robots and less damage to organics. I think you could do a pairing here. 
So like one is for one is a get one is a robot that kills organics and one is an organic that kills robots. I think you could really like nicely marry them um, in terms of like releases. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, anyway, I think I think I think that's I, I, I really like the concept of the character. It, it sounds super powerful and maybe a bit scary because of that. But but, you know, who gives a fuck? Scary, scary, powerful characters are totally fine. As long as I'm playing them. 